Hello and welcome, Sagittarius. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. And here we are looking at your December 2021. This is your December 2021 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you are uh, um, someone who keeps coming back, thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe. It helps me grow the channel and it's really, really appreciated. Anyway, Sagittarians. Mm, I wouldn't say my guides are weird. It could be me, but I know that there's no coincidence. While I was shuffling the cards, what, which is what I always do before I actually press the, the record button on the video kind of thing, um, I heard that melody from the movie um, Running Man. And then, sort of, I haven't watched that movie in quite some time, to be fair. But if memory serves, this really is about living in a society that is quite oppressed, if that makes sense, and where money is everything. I know this has got nothing to do with, uh, with me deciding what I'm going to watch next. This has to do with the overall energy somehow. And my feeling is that for you Sagittarians, um, let's put it this way. When the year started, 2021, I had decided, literally last year, um, to record... Ye the, um, the energy for the entire year and the overall energy for 2021 which we are still in was to be your true spiritual self and my feeling is based on the imagery that I'm getting from the running man <laughs> um, which is again weird but you know I'm, I'm used to my guides being a touch strange at times my feeling is that this is the month to come clean if that makes sense, and and announce to everybody and to yourself that what you came here to be is your authentic self. So we'll see if the overall energy reflects that somehow, but my feeling is that if you are a Sagittarian that hasn't looked into your spiritual core this year all that much, this is important uh, because you really ought to acknowledge who you truly are, right? So let's have a look at the overall energy for the months of December 2021 for the star sign of Sagittarians. You have the ancestor of boundaries, the ancestor of memories, and the shaman of courage. So the ancestor of boundaries, um, and again, it has to do with, it doesn't have to do with the running man. They just keep playing that melody to me. I got it. I hear you. Running man. Yeah, I get it. Stop. <laughs> you have the answers to have boundaries. And this has to do with you acknowledging how deep you really are and not giving a, having a care in the world what people think about you. That's sort of the overall energy that I'm getting, because you have the ancestor of boundaries as the incoming energy. And what they're saying is, um, put people in their place. If people think um, you're a bit weird, screw them, right? So, because boundaries sometimes are what are what is needed, because if people just want you to somehow be the way they are, then that's not right. You know, you, you, you are Sagittarian, so you have the right to be exactly who you are. So be who you are and tell people off who have an influence on you and who don't allow you, harsh word, um, to be who you fully, fully are and truly are. And this is just the incoming energy. Your main message for the area of... Um, the overall energy, because we're, we're sort of separating this video in three areas. What we're doing is we're looking at the overall energy for the months of December, which is what we're doing right now. Then we actually go deeper and separately into your emotional core before we then go into um, opportunities. Should I said that before, right? Shouldn't I? Which is normally the first thing I do, but when they sort of hijack me and all of a sudden show me 
Schwarzenegger and whoever else played in the movie, the guy from Fleetwood Mac, Mick Fleetwood, <laughs> played in it, and Dweezil Zappa, you know, um, Frank Zappa's son. So, like I said, Heaven, Jafet Kotto, it's actually a great movie. I feel like I'm, I'm now um, telling you all to watch that movie. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Last year's winners, no, last year's losers. <laughs> so that movie is really right in my head here. <sighs> the main message is actually the ancestor of memory. Your soul knows exactly who you are. They're bringing me, finally, I get a, get, get a little shift here in the imagery. They're giving me a birth chart. Um, and again, the guide's work is what is in my mind this year. 2021 was personally for me, I started really um, looking into astrology, helping people with their imprints. And that's another thing that I'm getting here. You come here with imprints, you come here with things that you agreed to do. And somehow it feels like some of you Sagittarians, maybe the majority, are slagging um, with regards to really doing what you came here to do. And the ancestor of memory is literally saying to you, it is time that you are who you truly are because the outgoing energy for your overall energy for this month, this very month of December 2021, you have the shaman of courage. So what they're saying to you is, um, I, I just apologize for, for the language that I'm getting is crow a pair. <laughs> That's what I'm sort of getting. Um, it just means, you know, have some courage. Um, Literally, yeah, have some courage and 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 announce to the world that you're serious, serious, of, uh, serious <laughs> about um, being your spiritual self. Anyway, um, I can see one cat here ganging up on the other. Let me just stop this quickly. Sort the cats out. I love them both, but you know, let me just sort this. Um, you will not even notice that I will be gone, <laughs> but let me just stop this here for a second. Right, <laughs> let's look into your emotional core, into your emotions. There could be trauma that still needs to go. There could also be um, them looking into, you know, love and whatever is coming up. So let's have a look at your emotional core and your emotions. For the month of December 2021, you are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your 2021, December 2021 rather, general reading. For your emotions, you have the ancestor of illusion, the ancestor of song, and, and sorry, the ancestor of hope, and the shaman of song. The ancestor of illusion is your incoming energy with regards to looking at your emotional core. Illusions are never a good thing because you cannot trust them. You have the ancestor of illusion with probably, with, well, well, not probably, this is the message <clears throat> for Sagittarians. For quite some time, things may not have been as great as you make them sound, right? <clears throat> and that's what they're asking you to look at, is, um, you know, where am I lying to myself with regards to my emotions? Um, maybe I believe, well, you Sagittarians, maybe you believe, if that makes sense, um, that you are doing better than you are, and maybe therefore you're not really looking at um, dealing with your emotions, if that makes sense. So I'm not saying, again, this is a general re reading, so I'm not saying you're not doing any shadow work, but it feels to me that you're painting a rather a better picture <clears throat> than what it actually is, and that has flaws in as much as it may be difficult to acknowledge that you know emotionally you are somewhat affected um, but it is important that you nonetheless um, look at things the way they really are because your middle energy which is the one that is the most important because it is surrounded by two others the ancestor of hope <clears throat> which means for a long time the universe is trying to send you or has sent you actually um, hope saying yeah you know you may have been hurt before but you're not broken right so we're sending you hope 
They're sending you the feeling of, yeah, it can be done. And because your outgoing energy is the shaman of song, what they're asking you to do, <coughs> because you have the ancestor of illusion, which means don't paint a nicer picture um, with regards to how you're truly feeling, because that is not how you should be dealing with your emotional core. But because your outgoing energy is the shaman of song, which means in order for you to make changes with your emotions, changes with how to manifest a proper love life, if that makes sense, or if you should you be in a, in a relationship, um, how to make positive changes for the relationship that you're in, you have the shaman of song nonetheless as the outgoing energy. And that just means songs, doesn't mean you have to sing and dance now. <laughs> Why not? Um, the shaman of song is telling you um, the more lighthearted you are with regards to how you're feeling, um, the easier things can change. And, and songs as, a, as an energy means high vibrations. All the guides are saying to you with regards to how you're truly feeling. Looking at the topic of trauma and looking at the topic of love is it is important for you Sagittarians to approach anything that has to do with deeper emotions and with where is my relationship with you going <laughs> kind of stuff approach it with lightheartedness the harsher and the harder you reflect on the past um, that doesn't make things go smoother just because you're still pissed off right so that's all I'm getting for the um, energy of your uh, um, emotions and now we're going into the final area of this reading for Sagittarians this is your general reading for the December of for the December <laughs> for the months of December 2021 what am i like <laughs> please like subscribe and share so we can um grow that um channel together so let's have a look at your um final area which is opportunities let's look at opportunities oftentimes the opportunities are about um how you um, sustain yourself if that makes sense so what is coming up here for you with regards to uh maybe maybe work and you have the the rabbit and the bear it's quite interesting because the rabbit is the animal that says there's tons of stuff that you could be doing and the bear is saying yeah you could do a lot of things but what they're asking you not to do this is just the way the guides show it to me for Sagittarians is to not continue with anything that that doesn't feel right. Again, this is about you understanding if you want new beginnings and you want to actually progress um, or find a better way to um, have a better income, you have to be honest. And anything that has become stale has to be approached and addressed. Um, when it comes to <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to you making changes, because your incoming energy is the rabbit, and the rabbit is saying, "Look, right? I have built a maze, a tunnel of um, rabbit holes, and they all lead somewhere. You are not as stuck as you think you are, right? So don't get yourself stuck." by having these thoughts, right? And the bear is saying to you, you're still going through some sort of healing. There's still stuff with regards to your work life um, or whatever it is you do for a living, if that makes sense, where you probably, um, and again, the, while the bear does not represent the past, I'm getting the feeling, that's the way they show it to me. They show me the bear over time. Um, so you might still, carry some and again that's the, the feeling that they give me you might still carry some resentment from past experiences which make it harder for you to move forward again the feeling that i'm getting to cut a long story short is for sagittarians 
to really, really, really understand how deep you are, how spiritually you are. And <laughs> sounds weird. They don't ask you to be the new you. They're asking you to be the, 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 the true you. That's all they're asking you to, to look at, right? Assess how deep you are and don't allow yourself for one more minute to not feel 100% appreciated. Because when you appreciate yourself, you say, you know what? Um, I can do tons of stuff. That's how you manifest new beginnings, right? So, somehow... Sagittarians. December isn't quite flowing that nicely. <clears throat> so just be aware that this might be, well, very likely will be, a month that has disruptions, energetically, energetical, um, energetic disruptions uh, coming your way. It might not be all plain sailing this month, but that's okay, as long as you realize and know who you are. Anyway, that was your December 2021 general reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash Thomas. Thanks for watching. See you all in the new year. See you in 2022. Yay, another year. <laughs> right, awesome. So here we go. Bye-bye.